Chapter 2 Spreadsheet Formulas and Functions Learning Outcomes Formulas in Excel Cell Referencing Entering a Formula Copying a Formula Text Formulas Error Results Functions in Excel 2010 Auto Sum Managing Worksheet Introduction in your maths class, you have already learnt how to work with formulas. Formulas in Excel have the same meaning as in maths. However, in Excel, they are written differently from how you write them in maths. An Excel formula always starts with an equal to sign and can be a maximum of 8192 characters in length. In this chapter, you will learn how to enter formula refer to cells all referencing and using functions in Excel. Formulas in Excel In Excel, a formula is an expression that operates on values in a range of cells or cell. A formula can contain numbers, cell addresses, cell ranges and operators. Let's learn how to use formulas. For example, the worksheet shown here has three numbers. There are two methods you can use to add them. Method 1. Click in cell A4 and type is equal to 100 plus 200 plus 300 and press enter key. You will get the answer that is 600 in cell A4. Method 2. Click in cell A4 and type is equal to A1 plus A2 plus A3 and press enter key to get the result that is 600. Cell referencing. A cell reference refers to the value of a different cell or a range of cells on a worksheet. A cell reference can be used as a variable in a formula. There are three kinds of cell references that you can use in Excel. Relative cell references, absolute cell references, mixed cell references. A relative cell reference is one a reference to a cell relative to the position of the formula. A formula with a relative cell reference changes as you copy it from one cell to another. For example, if you copy the formula is equal to A1 plus B1 from cell C1 to C2, the formula in C2 adjusts downward by one row and becomes is equal to A2 plus B2. Second, an absolute cell reference is a cell reference that always refers to a particular cell. It does not change when the formula is copied. To create an absolute cell reference, you type a dollar sign before column heading and before the row heading. For example, dollar sign A dollar sign 1, comma dollar sign B dollar sign 2. Third, a mixed cell reference. It's a combination of relative and absolute cell references to refer to a cell. To create a mixed reference, you type the dollar sign either before the column heading or before the row heading. For example, dollar sign A1 and A dollar sign 1 are mixed cell reference. Do you know? By default, formulae use relative references. Entering a formula. You can use a mouse or keyboard to enter a formula. Let's take an example to learn it using a mouse as well as a keyboard. To enter a formula using the mouse, follow these steps. Step 1. Click on cell D1 and type is equal to in it. Step 2. Click on A1. Its address will appear in cell D1 then type plus. Step 3. Click on B1. Its address will appear in cell D1, then type plus. Step 4. Click on cell C1. Its address will appear in cell D1. Step 5. Press the Enter key. Cell D1 will display the total of all the values from cells A1 to C1. B. To enter a formula using the keyboard, follow the given steps. Step 1. Type is equal to in cell D1. Press the left arrow key to move the cell A1, then type plus. Step 2. Press the left arrow key to move to cell B1, then type plus. In step 3, 
press the left arrow key to move to cell C1. In step 4, press the Enter key. Cell D1 will display the total of all the values from cells A1 to C1. Copying a formula using the fill handle. You can copy a formula from one cell to another using two methods. Method 1. Copying a formula using the fill handle. Step 1. Select the cell that has the formula you want to fill into adjacent cells. In step 2, rest your cursor in the lower right corner so that it turns into a plus sign, which is called the fill handle. In step 3, drag the fill handle across the column to select the cells where the formula is to be copied. In step 4, release the mouse button. Excel will display the result. Method 2. Copying a formula using copy and paste. Step 1. Select the cell containing the formula you want to copy or press Ctrl plus C. Step 2. Click on copy from the clipboard group. In step 3, on the same sheet or another sheet, click on to the cell into which you want to paste the formula. Step 4. Click on the paste from the clipboard group or press Ctrl plus V. Text formula. A text string or a text value is a sequence of characters on which you cannot perform mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, division or multiplication. However, you can join the strings. Joining strings is called concatenation. We use the ampersand character to concatenate strings. For example, in the worksheet given below, if you type A1 and B1 in cell C1 and press Enter key, you will see the result, the concatenated text, Hi, Hello. Error Results Sometimes while working on an Excel 2010, errors are displayed in the working cell or the formula bar instead of the result. Some common error results and their reasons are Error value, meaning hash 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 when a column is not wide enough to accommodate the value. Hash div slash zero exclamation mark. The formula contains an invalid operation, for example division by zero. Hash n slash a. The formula uses a value that is not available. Hash valued exclamation mark. The formula contains an invalid operation. Hash name question mark. Incorrect range name or no quotation marks around a text string in a formula. Hash num exclamation mark. Invalid argument in the function. Hash ref exclamation mark. Invalid cell reference. Functions in Excel 2010. Functions in Excel are predefined formulas that perform specific calculations. Microsoft Excel 2010 provides a variety of functions. We will discuss some basic functions here such as sum, average, max, min, count, etc. These functions are present in the function library group of formulas tab on the ribbon. Rules of using an Excel function we must take care of the following rules while writing the format of a function. Each function must begin with an equal to sign. Second, the arguments of functions must be enclosed within brackets. Third, the arguments should be mentioned by using a colon. For example, is equal to sum a1 colon a5 in brackets will calculate the sum of cell range a1 through A5. Inserting functions. To insert a function, follow the given steps. Step 1. Select the cell where the answer will appear. Step 2. Click the formulas tab, then select the insert function command. In step 3, the insert function dialog box will appear. Step 4. Click on the drop-down arrow to open the Select a Category list. Step 5. Select a category, then select a function. Step 6. 
click on OK. Commonly used functions. Sum. It calculates the sum of the number in a given range of cells. Syntax. Sum range of numbers. Example. Sum A1 colon A5 in brackets. Product. It multiplies the numbers in a given range of cells. Syntax. Product range of numbers. Quotient. It returns the quotient when a number is divided by another number. Syntax. Quotient. Numerator. Denominator. Average. It calculates the average of the numbers in a given range of cells. Syntax. Average range of numbers. Count. It counts the numbers of cells in a given range of cells that contains numerical value and doesn't count the cells containing text. Syntax. Count range of numbers. EXP. It returns the natural logarithm raised to the power of a number. Syntax. Exponential number. INT. Integer. It rounds a number to the nearest integer. Syntax INT number. LCM. It returns the least common multiple of numbers in a given range of cells. Syntax LCM range of numbers. LEN. It counts the number of characters in the text. Syntax LEN text. Max. It returns the largest value in a given range of cells. Syntax Max range of numbers. MIN. It returns the smallest value in a given range of cells. Syntax min range the numbers. Mod. It returns the remainder when a number is divided by another number. Syntax mod number divisor. Power. It returns the result raised to the power of a number. Syntax power number power. Round. It returns a number to the specific number of digits. Syntax round number num digits. SQRT. It returns the square root of a number. Syntax SQRT number. Count A. It counts the number of cells containing a number or text. Syntax count A range of numbers. Today. It displays the current date. Syntax today brackets. Autosum. Autosum is used to insert commonly used functions such as sum, average, max, min and count numbers. To select these functions using autosum, follow the given steps. First, click a cell below or to the right of the values you want to sum. This tells Excel which values you want to sum. Step 2. Click the Auto Sum button in the Editing group on Home tab. Excel inserts an equal sign followed by the Sum function and a suggested range of values to sum displayed in a marquee. Step 3. If the suggested range is incorrect, drag the cell cursor across the cells to select the correct range. The marquee adjusts to surround the range of cells you select. Step 4. Press enter or click the enter button on the formula bar. Excel enters the sum formula in the cell. Or, step 1. Click a cell below or to the right of the values you want to sum. Step 2. Click on formulas tab. Step 3. In the function library group, click on the auto sum drop down arrow. Step 4. Select a function from the list. Excel automatically uses the selected function. The range of data selected in the entire row or column in which data has been entered. When the range is selected, press the Enter key. Excel will calculate and display the result. Managing Worksheet Worksheet is the actual place where the data or information is entered and formatted in the form of rows and columns. At the bottom of the worksheet, you can see the Sheet tab with names of worksheets and the active worksheet displayed. Let's learn how to insert a new worksheet, rename a worksheet, delete a worksheet and change the color of a Sheet tab. Inserting a new worksheet To insert a new worksheet, 
Follow these steps. Step 1. From the Sheet tab, right-click on the worksheet before which you want to insert a new worksheet. A pop-up menu appears. In Step 2, click on the Insert option. The Insert dialog box appears. In Step 3, select the Worksheet option in the General tab. And in Step 4, click on OK. A new worksheet is inserted before the selected sheet name. Or, you can also insert a new worksheet by pressing the Shift plus F11 keys on your keyboard at the same time. Renaming a worksheet In Excel, a worksheet is given a default name such as Sheet 1, Sheet 2 and so on. You can rename or change the name of your worksheet by following the given methods. Method 1 Double-click the sheet name on Sheet tab to quickly rename it. Method 2. Right-click on the Sheet tab, click Rename and type a new name. Deleting a worksheet. To delete a worksheet, right-click the Sheet tab which you want to delete and select Delete option. Changing color of the Sheet tab. To change worksheet tab color in Excel, right-click on the Sheet tab whose tab color you wish to change and select Tab color option. Choose a color of your choice from the sub-menu that appears. Recap Zone A formula is an expression that operates on values in a range of cells or a cell. A formula starts with an equal sign. Functions in Excel are predefined formulas that perform specific calculations. Autosum is used to insert commonly used functions. In Excel, a worksheet is given a default name such as Sheet 1, Sheet 2 and so on.